Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm continuing my Throwing Shade series where I talk about foundations I love with shade rangers that suck. The first video I did on this, I actually did on the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation, and right before I made that video, they actually extended their shade range. So that video kind of took a turn, and I was actually very impressed with how much they were able to extend that shade range. Unfortunately, the foundation slash BB cream that I'm going to be talking about today did not do that, so this will be truly a foundation I love with shade range that sucks video. Before we jump into this video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like these kinds of videos, and if you haven't and you'd like to, I really hope you would consider subscribing so that you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. So the BB cream that I wanted to talk about today is from Misha, and this is the Misha Perfect Coverage Perfect Cover BB Cream, and I have the shades 21 and 27. There are only seven shades in this foundation, and here's the range. It's a uh, seven shades of beige, which and also these swatches are super misleading because they look like warm undertones in the swatches, but really every single one of these except for shades 25 and 27 have a cool gray undertone to them. I purchased my first one of these on Amazon, so that was shade number 21 after looking at some swatches and trying to figure out what would work best for me. This, the undertone is way too gray for me, but it was like the, the right lightness for my skin tone. I then found shade 27 in a Target. So I tried looking on Target's website and I didn't see it on there, but in my local Target they have a whole Misha section and this was there. So I picked up shade 27 because they actually had testers open to look at. And this one was darker for me, but it had my right undertone. So I was mixing the two of these together for quite some time, but I found that just to kind of get rid of that blue gray undertone, I just really needed to use shade 27 and lighten it. So I've been lightening it with my LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Foundation just in the shade white because this looks a lot better than mixing the two of them together. I am going to declutter shade 21 just because I really don't use it. I can't make it work for me because of the undertone. I think I said I was going to declutter it in a previous video, but I did want to save it for this video just so I could show you guys swatches of both of them side by side so you can actually get an idea of what the swatches look like as opposed to what they look like on the website. Speaking of the Misha website, let's go ahead and jump in to how they describe this BB cream. The Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream SPF 42, lightweight, multifunction, high coverage. Smoothly conceals imperfection, balances skin tone, and visibly smooths complexion for a youthfully perfected look. Keeps your skin hydrated and soft with powerful ceramides, hyaluronic acid, and Gaudeline RC, I probably butchered that. Infused with nourishing botanical essences, emollient plant oils, and nutrient-rich marine extracts to replenish the look and feel of skin. So, you know what? I agree with all of those. Honestly, this is one of the most comfortable, the most hydrating foundation slash BB creams I've ever used. It feels so good on my skin. It feels like I'm putting on like a thick cream and not like a a foundation, but it is a BB cream, so that that, that kind of goes with the name. I think this just looks so much like skin on my skin. I wore this quite a few times around family and friends and i actually so my aunt got like right up close to me and was like are you wearing foundation like because she couldn't tell it looked like skin on my skin and it, it just looked really nice it's it is very dewy i set mine with powder just because i always set everything with powder you don't need to if you're not afraid of like transfer because if you don't set it it will transfer like nuts it's that dewy it's that moisturizing it's not going to stay put on its own so let me show you the shades swatched out on my hand, I will, but this is what the two shades look like swatched out on my hand. This lighter shade is shade 21, and this darker shade is shade 27. And let's go ahead and mix these together. This is very moisturizing and smooth. I feel like I'm rubbing a hand cream on my hand right now. So let's go ahead and apply this. Like I said, I'm going to apply shade 27 and just lighten it with my white mixer. Boop, 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 boop. I've already washed, moisturized, and primed my face. I primed today with a primer that I've been using quite a lot. <laughs> it's the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. So I primed with that one just because I've worn it so much I know how everything works on my skin with it now. Ooh, where? 
is my concealer brush? Where is my concealer brush? I can't see over the mirror. Where is ocean? The good news is I was able to find a big mirror that I can keep in front of my camera and not block the camera. The bad news is that I can't see anything behind the mirror now. <laughs> Okay, so I just did a couple of dabs of the BB cream and mixed it with the white mixer. I try not to go too light with this. I don't see it oxidize or anything, but you can overdo it with this really quickly. So we're all nice and mixed in. Let's see. I feel like it's a little dark. Let me just do a little bit lighter. There we go. Okay. So I like to just paint this on with my concealer brush. This is from MAC, you can use any concealer brush really. And I'm taking my Sigma F80. I just actually bought a new one of these because my old one, I'll throw a picture up, but unfortunately after about two and a half years, died on me. So I did pick up another one like immediately because I love this brush. And I don't rub this around or anything, I pat it in. One thing to mention, there is a scent. <laughs> I can get over the scent. I'm not overly sensitive to it, but it smells like old lady makeup. So that's one side with the brush. I will definitely go in and add just a little bit more, but after I use the brush, I like to smooth it out with my sponge. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more where I have some texture right over here. Add a little bit more to my forehead and to my chin. So let's smooth this out. And there we go. See, we're very dewy. It still looks like skin, but it's covered up everything that I need to have covered up. It's got the texture right over here. I get really bad redness. You see your redness over here. It's covered over here. And thankfully, the scent, for the most part, goes away after it sits on your skin for a little bit. If you want the most coverage, I would suggest sticking with the brush and then going in with the sponge. But let me just show you what it looks like if you just use the sponge. So I'm going to paint some more on. We'll do the neck area with the brush. Okay, so that's the side with just the sponge. So it does still have that really nice finish to it. I'm just seeing a little bit less coverage on this side versus this side because I can see I've got like a little birthmark right there popping through. I've got some texture I can still a little bit see over there. Yeah, so my preferred method is to do the brush and then smooth it out, but you can definitely use just the sponge if you want the same effect. You still get the same finish, which is really nice. So this also means you can control the coverage. If you want full coverage one day, you can do that. If you want a nice light coverage BB cream, you're not going to get light coverage, but you're going to get light medium coverage. So let me zoom you guys in so you can see how this actually looks close up. So you can see we are very dewy. I do love this finish. Honestly, I would leave it like this if I didn't have to worry about transfer or like, you know, going anywhere or doing anything because it looks, it looks like beautiful glowing skin right now. That is one thing, it will not dry down. So you see how it's just a little bit tacky. I'm getting some on my finger. That's how it's gonna stay. So like I said before, I do like to powder this and do the rest of my face like normal. So I'm going to jump off camera just to finish the rest of my face. And then we'll come back to see the final result and talk a little bit more about the BB cream. Alright guys, and we're back. My total face is done. I didn't do my eyeshadow. I'm actually about to film another video video all about my eyeshadow but since this is more about the foundation I wanted to focus on the base so this is how we are looking I am looking at my skin in like a close-up mirror right now and it looks gorgeous but it still looks like skin and I think that's where like the magic of this BB cream comes in because I'm getting just about full coverage everything looks dewy and beautiful and like skin 
I love this BB cream. For me, it actually does last a full day as well. It's not just it looks great on the application. It lasts a full day through either a work day, through a chill at home day, and my skin feels moisturized. This is a great thing for this is a great product to use in the winter or if you're in a very cold climate because it doesn't like strip your skin. There are other foundations I love that look great on my skin as well, but they don't feel this way. Especially when it's like really dry and really cold. Like this is such a great BB cream. The only issue is why do you only have six shades? <sighs> So I do know this is an Asian brand, and I know Asian brands tend to do pretty garbage with their shade ranges because they're marketing more towards a different demographic. What do you think about these shade ranges once they try to expand into other markets? Because personally, I think it's one thing if you have a shade range like that and you're marketing towards a fairly homogenic market. It's another thing if you're trying to expand your reach but you're only gonna keep your shade range and like come to america or come to europe or come to anywhere else i personally think once you expand as a company and you're trying to reach other people you need to expand your shade range because this might fly in korea in asia but it's not gonna fly in america it's not gonna fly where people have different skin tones and different needs and it, I, I just don't think they should have expanded out unless they had more shades. That being said, I, I'm glad I found this BB cream. I really do love this BB cream, but they really do need to work on their shade ranges, especially now that they're in Target. Like, I, I was shocked that I was in Target and I saw a BB cream, and they only really had four shades in my Target. They didn't even have their whole six shade range. Like, oh. So those are my thoughts on the Misha BB Cream, a product that I love, the shade range that sucks. Let me know what you think down below of this BB Cream and of BB Creams in general. I feel like we're seeing an, like, an overall issue with shade ranges when it comes to BB Creams. Thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.